everybody, it is Erin, or Give Me Yarn 418, with Cast Off Friday. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, and you'll see why. Meet Rudy! Da 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 da! Say hi, Rudy! Say hi, Rudy! Okay, Okay, good boy. Go play! So, my in-laws got a new puppy. I think I showed you all a picture previously, and I have slobber all over my face. But he's been spending a lot of time here so that we can help to crate train him so he sleeps through the night. Do you need something, babe? So I have been knitting in a wee tiny bit of crocheting um, in that time, so I will show you what I've got. Oh, and I did a little bit of sewing, too. The first thing I made was uh, just a pillow for, for the new puppy which was easy enough. And do you want me to turn off the video, babe? Um, the next thing I made, I made previously, but I forgot to show it in my last video, and this is Sweet Pagan's, Pagan Rose's zombie bag that she has coming out later. And it's fully lined. It's a cute little bag. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. But yeah, so watch for that pattern to come out. Um, the next thing I have to show you is a pair of socks. I finished just a plain vanilla afterthought heel sock. This is Lollipop Yarns um, yarn, and they're for me, and I love them, and they're beautiful. The next thing is I finished Kristen's sweater, but I was not confident with my ability to insert this the zipper into the sweater so it's at the seamstress and we should have it back uh, before my next video so when I do I will show that to you um, next oh I made this sweater I'm wearing this is the Arlene it's a free pattern on Ravelry it's really easy um, this was my second sweater first sweater I made was Kristen's of course and this took I think we figured it out 17 days to make and this is made out of knit picks. I think it's comfy. I don't know if it's comfy or shine. I think it's comfy. It's a cotton. Okay. So that's that. Next, I made a crepe liner for um, the new puppy. It's just a, it's not really quilted, but um, I did some decorative stitching to make it appear as though it's quilted. Because Rudy will get to be 100 plus pounds. Um, so he needs a bigger crate liner. So he'll be in a bigger crate soon. And last but, last but not least, I mean there's a couple of leasts. Um, I've been knitting felted things. I had showed you these previously and these were my felted clogs from Fiber Trends. And when I felted them the last time they were a little big. So I felted them again. Now they fit perfectly. They're still a little damp. They're drying. They could take a couple days to dry. And Kristen likes those a lot. So now you can see what they look like before they're felted. I knit Kristen a pair. <laughs> so see how much they shrink and see the difference. In, you can see the stitches in this one and this one it's just like a fabric yes did you know that the Olympic opening ceremonies is on I just put it on for you do you know how creepy it is right now they look like they're coming out of like coffins and cemetery and I'm not kidding you gotta see it okay I'll come see it in just a second hey everybody the Olympic opening games are on and it, I guess it's a creepy scene the next thing I made I had showed in previous videos these felted bones that I made for the dogs for for Christmas and Rudy really likes them so and here's Ryan back by the way can't be not in a video um, so I made a couple more I made this is out of Nipix Wool of the Indies Bulky um, it's worked with one strand this is also a Fiber Trends um, pattern it's not a free pattern but it's really easy and it's really fun um, this yarn is discontinued. Then I made another one that's already felted. 
just needs to be stuffed and have the, have the squeaker added. I don't want to squeak on screen again because um, I guess the Olympics is really scary. Um, this is made out of Cascade 220 that I got at one of my LYSs. Next is an unfelted version, and this is made out of Patton's, Peyton's Classic Wool. I can't remember. Autumn, autumn something. This will autumn be felted. Harvest. Autumn Harvest. I think that is what it is. So you'll see, you see the difference. These will, this will shrink down to this size. And last but not least, um, really this time, okay, I, they can't see your hands. <laughs> um, I did one more Fiber Trends felted pattern, and I haven't felted it yet. <laughs> Stop. And it is called the Huggable Hedgehog. This is knit out of Galway, Galway uh, worsted and fun fur. I hate fun fur. Still hate fun fur. Love this. So <laughs> this is the Hedgehog. And he looks like, there we go, that's his belly, that's not his chest. Um, and he'll be felted, and I can't wait to see what he looks like, and I've already started another one, and I think we're going to have another special guest. <gasps> Dewey! Hi, buddy, can you say hi? Okay, we got to say bye. Are we going to have somebody else say goodbye? So that's all I have for this week. Um, I hope to have a video up again in two weeks. Um, I will try to put a link to all of the patterns in the description below. If I don't, feel free to ask me, um, and I will get it f a link for you. They've already seen him. Um, and until next time, oh, she ran away. Say bye, Rudy. Oh, they didn't like that. Okay, okay, okay. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.